Okay, so let's talk through kind of the nitty gritty of making a snake file come up and, and be functional for you. Um, in terms of the overall architecture of what we were trying to do here, we had to take a folder of 400 plus and run those each through their own uh, Python script to punch off 400 plus CSV files of summarized data about each of those. So to do that uh, was pretty challenging to figure out the next flow, a bunch of kind of non-intuitive code for me anyway. And in SnakeMake, it was a lot easier. So the architecture here is all kind of governed by this rule all rule, uh, which is the final product of our SnakeMake file. In this case, it's dashboard viz.csv. So if SnakeMake gets called up and doesn't see that inside the folder, it's going to execute all of the uh, dependencies that it needs to get to that. Um, in order to get this first rule, this first rule that takes the txt files, runs them through process abstracts.py, and punches off a folder of CSVs, uh, we had to use this wildcard character. Uh, so we define that up here. IDs, comma, punches off a list of each of the files that are inside this uh, descriptive um, block of code. The, the thing here um, that we're using to identify each individual file is this curly bracket ID. And with that, we're able to come into the input file and give the same uh, path with that ID as a global wildcard. And it knows uh, to, be, to execute each of these in parallel with the number of threads we give it. We give two threads in this case, so it's always going to be taking two different abstracts and running them through two different instances of processabstracts.py and pushing those off into this other folder, the output folder, uh, snake results slash processed, and then the wildcard ID of that individual file, .csv. After that's executed uh, for all 400 plus of those, the next thing that we needed to do was to merge the 400 CSVs that were the result of the last process into a single CSV with a script called combine.py. So similar set of concepts, if you dig around in the documentation, you'll find that you can get this list of all of those CSVs in a folder with this expand command. We're using those same um, ID wildcard to, to identify each of the individual files. So, with this expand of path with the ID wildcard, you can push into the Python file a list of all of the files that need to get processed, and out of that you get this aggregated collabs.csv. Uh, that, in turn, is the input for our second to last process, and really the last process we're going to run on VCL is this uh, input, the CSV result, of the previous rule, run it through aggregate results.py and punch off a dashboard viz.csv. And that dashboard viz looks like this. The idea behind it is that you've got a column of the name of the institution that was collaborated with, you've got a column of, that indicates the number of collaborations with that institution, and then you've got the 10 most common words on collaborations between UNC and that institution. We can then take that and go into a uh, shiny dashboard file. You can, nice thing about uh, SnakeMake is that with the singularity command, if we did have our studio up and running on the VCL machine, we would be able to input that uh, dashboard viz uh, input. And we actually don't want to say .py, we want to say .csv. It's a little error there. Uh, we'd be able to define the container in which it runs with a Docker image. Uh, so we'd have to load this uh, Rocker Tidyverse latest uh, image onto the VCL. And then we'd be able to execute this R script. Um, and within that container, the machine would know to execute that R script and pull up the, the dashboard just as we would expect it. So what we have in SnakeMake is the ability to run the same kind of R scripts, bash scripts, and uh, Python scripts as you have with Nextflow, but to me this is a much more intuitive way to describe what we need and I just found the documentation a lot easier to get from point A to point B with. So 
that's what I have for you. That's kind of the, the big picture. We'll get into the nitty gritty here in a minute. Uh, but uh, thanks for watching. And uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions or anything that I can improve on this. Uh, I think this is a great way to kind of talk through both for me learning and sharing what I'm learning.